trying to free your mind, Neo. A clever slave owner would gladly provide a little bit of food, some water, some basic housing, and just enough to where their slave is relatively content, there is no rebellion, and they can continue to exploit them. Such is the role of a politician. They are not here to serve you. Thousands and thousands of years of history makes this very clear. And it's not going to change this year, guys. The role of a politician is to fool you, to entertain you, and to ultimately serve the ruling class. Their job is to ensure that you remain a tax-paying slave to the system. If they were truly concerned with your empowerment, they would teach you to be your own leader. And this is why politicians will always give you hope, but they will never give you knowledge. Because hope teaches us to endure, it can even make us forget about the problems, but it will never free us. Only knowledge and truth can do that. And the truth is, they need us. We don't need them. They need us to pay their taxes. They need us to go fight and die in their wars. They need us to support their banks, their corporations, and their government. And above all else, they need us to sacrifice our mental and physical potential because they have no real power of their own. The sooner we become aware of the fact that they are exploiting our collective energy to create a world that only benefits themselves, then the sooner we can redirect our efforts into creating a world that is peaceful and benefits us all. But instead, we have surrendered our collective power to this small, corrupt minority. And then, like fools, we wonder why the world is so corrupt and why it only truly serves this small minority. But it's never too late to take back this power which is rightfully ours. And the way we do this is by recognizing that our vote really does count. Now, I'm not talking about the vote in their rigged, phony, circus show elections. I'm talking about how you vote with your lifestyle and your choices. When you spend your money on food, are you supporting a corrupt corporation or are you supporting a local organic ethical farmer? Are you giving your attention to clown ass celebrities that deserve to be ignored or are you giving your attention to people that are genuinely trying to make the world a better place? Are you spreading gossip or are you spreading kindness? Are you just criticizing or are you contributing? When you listen to music, are you listening to a puppet that is simply preaching materialism and the worship of money? Or are you listening to someone that is genuinely trying to empower you and inspire you? Are you choosing to conform and follow the safe path? Or are you choosing to follow your heart? So if you want to live in a kinder, more compassionate world, guys, then practice kindness and compassion. If you want to live in a more enlightened world, then enlighten yourself. If you want to live in a world where there's no corruption, then stand up for justice and stand against corruption. If you want change, then you have to become it. Now don't let anyone fool you into believing you have no power and that what you do does not matter. Everything matters, guys, no matter how small it may seem. And every single choice we make results in some kind of a creation or a contribution. So we have to ask ourselves, guys, Am I making choices that are helping to create and contribute towards a better society? Because things are not going to magically get better on their own. And we have to realize that the well-being of this society is a collective responsibility that we all share. Now no one can do everything, but everyone can do something. And it's time for us to step up and reclaim our power. If not us, then who? And if not now, then when? Please help me spread this message. One left.